Okay, so um, good morning today, and we're going to be looking at um, learning outcome three today. Okay, so just let me just get this up. So can you see this, Eunice? Yes. So it's 4.4 4, business organization, people organization, learning outcome three, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um good morning. And my name is Shazia Khan, and today's session I'll be doing is people organization. 4.4 and learning outcome three, which is to understand the issues associated with remote working. First, I'd like to um, just stress to you that we completed um, at learning outcome two yesterday, and it was to do with understanding effective teamwork. So when we looked at what teamwork is, what, what comes to mind, Eunice, when you talk about what teamwork is? What do you think effective teamwork is? Um, two, <clears throat> two or more people coming together with the same aim to perform a task. Excellent. So two or more people working together to perform a task mm -hmm. and their aim mm -hmm. is the final task. So we looked at uh, the importance of teamwork. We looked at what makes effective teamwork. Uh, the different stages of how a team is developed. So forming, storming, norming, and performing. We looked at how to build a team as well, because it's really important when you look at building a team and the role of team members, uh, basic team member skills, um, the three types of communication, um, and also the different types of um, responsibilities and skills, so assertive, Listening responsively is really important. When you listen to someone, you're able to understand what they're talking about. Speaking confidently is really important. Um, team leadership, we looked at. Leadership and uh, team and leadership styles, we looked at. How important this is in uh, to be a good leader. Um, we looked at lasses fair, why? benevolent leader, team builder, and autocratic builder. And these are the different types of learners um, that we have, but the different types of leaders as well and different types of learning styles. Are they good to have different types of learning styles? Because what do you think people work differently? Yeah. Yeah, so today we're going to look at remote learning, okay? Remote working, sorry. When we talk about remote working, what do you think it is? What do you think remote working is? So we look at the different types of remote working. So this is learning outcome three. So effective managing a remote workforce. So what is driving the remote movement? Lack of available talent within a commutable distance. So the fact that you can't find anyone who's got any sort of experience within that distance. So we look at working remotely, which is uh, at home or either in another place, which we will talk about. Life changes to our current teams, competitive forces, weather events and their effects our employees and their desire to work life balance. So people want to work flexibly, they want to work remotely. So the flexible hours in the workplace, the definition benefits of um, for employers and for employees and the obstacles around it. So the definition is employees have the flexibility on how long and where they want to work according to the human resources policy. Um, remote work is a practice of employers doing their own jobs from a location other than a central office operated by the employer. Such locations include an employer's home, co-working or other shared space, a private space office or any other place outside the tra traditional corporate office building. So who should work remotely? Nature of work is can be performed without 
uh, interaction with other employees. So clients on a face-to-face -face basis, uh, lack of presence in the office can overcome through technology. An employee in question has demonstrated the ability and maturity to work independently, so no, no documented performance issues. And employees possess a home office setup and a distraction-free environment at home conducive to work, um, remote work. Do you think a lot of people at Unis do remote working now? Yes. And what, what do you think? Why is it so good to do the remote working? Because th there's advantages and disadvantages of both, you know, working uh, remotely and not working remotely, which we're going to go through a little bit. So different policies, flexible hours, flexi time. So that's around, you know, both the employees and employer to kind of, sort out flexi times which may be able to things like you know school times for the um for the worker who needs to pick a kid so uh, maybe come work come work early and then go um go early as well before school time or maybe come to work later and then go later telework flex place time bank compress work wheels v time working and job sharing the benefits of having remote workers it eliminates the need for commuting so anyone you know doesn't have to commute to work and be late coming to work and um, it reduces costs associated with performing the job uh, access to talent so if remote employees can be anywhere so they can be anywhere and they don't have to be at home they can be anywhere opens up pool of available resources um, less need for office space, so reduces amount of office space, desks, overhead needed, and greater work-life balance for employees. It also gives them a little bit more freedom as well to kind of work, um, and it also improves the employee experience, but decreases any sort of costs as well, like we said, reduces uh, the amount of office space, reduces infrastructure costs so you know it is it has benefits but it also has you know pitfalls as well which are um disadvantages so avoid benefits for employees avoid rush hour commutes so if you're coming to work at you set off at half past nine and you expect to get to work for nine o'clock this is the way it reduces uh work-life commutes because you'll just get out of bed and you'll have your computer there and what you're supposed to do and work around that. Work-life advantages and um, more control over time off. So the fact, you know, that employees are able to have control over what they need time off. Common issues and pitfalls. So these are like disadvantages. Remote work is done as a way to avoid third-party childcare. Employee forgoes daycare, nanny, caring for the child while also working. Technology, internet connection is unreliable, which is quite a big thing and is quite slow. The lack of proper office equipment to replicate what is present in the office. Uh, home phone against office phone, who pays and at what level. And there's also lack of, inf lack of access to any sort of information as well. Home office set up, not in an office setting. There's distractions around uh, ergonomics of setup makes computer uh, work uncomfortable and monitoring of remote worker is more difficult. Also, you know, any sort of dec uh, decreased collaboration, loneliness and isolation, you know, someone who's working remotely would be more lonely and, uh, you know, isolated from the rest of the world because there's no face-to-face -face contact. Um, what do you think about remote uh, working, uh, Eunice? Sorry? What do you think about remote working? Like? If you don't work in the office and you work at home, do you think, do you think people would struggle with it, some people? Mm, yeah. Would you like to work at home rather than go to work? Mm, yeah. <laughs> <Not really laughs> <both. laughs> 
Well, sometimes people want to, don't they? But they are distractions. So if you've got a dog or a, you know, you've got children around, you know, they're a distraction, aren't they? Causing a lot of noise and stuff. And if you need background, you know, quietness, then, you know, remote working works well for some people and doesn't work well for others. Yeah. So tech tools for remote workforce. So you need a laptop with an alternative VPN number. So you go to my PC, type, set up again, control of office PC from home. So it still relies on home PC, not office specified for speed or antivirus. Uh, the VOIP phone or cellular phone, printer and scanner. So you need this stuff at home, instant messenger links or other secure systems allows for more instant communication uh, and monitoring shows when people is active on their system or not and a webcam high speed internet basic access may hinder productivity uh, Skype. So, you know, like high speed internet, people will be paying for the basic one. So, would the employers have to pay for the internet to become high speed? Yes. They would need to, wouldn't they? Yeah. So, if they wanted their work done fast, they would need to do that, you know, because it identifies that, you know, um, that people you know are able to work at a certain speed if they can't if they can't afford the highest speed the employers should be doing that and then skype as well high speed internet uh, and then skype benefits for employees employers extend working hours it reduces absentees and or lateness so you know people will go online and they won't be late and also people won't be absent if they're working from home. I know a lot of employers like this remote style of uh, working at home and it does work for some employers, uh, like things like, you know, domestic in general, uh, places like gas companies, you know, Eon, electric companies, they will work from home as well. Uh, recruit and preserve professional staff efficient use of the facilities and it increases productivity. So when you're at home, you tend to do a lot more obstacles. So trust and supervision. So, you know, there must be a form of trust and, you know, there's no supervision there. These are some of the obstacles. Communications and fair targets for all staff. Manager tips for those with remote workers. Orientation. Onboarding should be done in office and perhaps one to four weeks in office before reverting to remote arrangement. Uh, so, you know, some, some of it, you know, uh, I know places that do two days working at home remotely and three days at work. I also know people that work full time remotely at home. Some like it, some don't because, you know, some want face to face contact with other employers. And I think it's um, it's fair to say that sometimes you want to be in the real world. Helps foster connection with the team, helps reinforce culture and standards. Be sure to remember remote employees when doing impromptu announcements, meetings. Uh, review job descriptions up front. So what can cannot be easily done, measured, managed or remotely. So, you know, all these things need to be taken into account. It comes down to training. Rules for remote workers must be explained and reviewed with managers too. So the managers must put into force what kind of rules are uh, different for face-to-face -face workers and for remote workers. How to track performance and productivity for remote workers must be trained. How to engage the remote people, so include them in meetings, get them in any sort of appraisals or anything like that. You need to meet up with the, you know, you need to identify then. How to track time online availability and output. Mm -hmm. How to use IM webcams as a tool of communication. And identifying telltale signs of issues from those working remotely. So, you know, you know, you need to be on on ball in, you know, finding out what's going on with each worker. 
So summary of it all. Not all positions are ideal for the more employee arrangements. Can you ask? Can can you tell me any positions that you think are not ideal for the more employee arrangements? Eunice, sorry. Any jobs? Any jobs that are not ideal for remote working? Um, not really. What about nurses? Could they work remotely? No. Would it be dependent on the job they're doing? Yeah, it depends. Yeah, because if it's with patients, do you, I don't think they'd be able to work that remotely at home. No. No, no and if it's with, like, doing um, paperwork, yeah, paperwork and things like that, then they could work from home. Yes. But I think ideally for nurses and in the care profession, they would need to see their uh, employees face to face. Yeah. Uh, so you need to define the rules, the expectations up front, ensure that remote employees are properly outfitted and equipped. So they need to have all the equipment in their house. They need to know how to, uh, you know, introduce themselves online. They need to know all the position before they do the job. Train your managers on how to properly lead, manage, communicate with them and assess their remote employees. So, you know, managers would have to know all the process, you know, uh, of how to, you know, manage their employees, you know, how to communicate with them because it's so important and how to assess any sort of work they are doing because it is difficult sometimes to do that. They consider any sort of arrangements that get remote workers in the office monthly, if not weekly. So, you know, engage them regardless as part of your team. So, for example, employers will need to get the employee in once a month, once a week to identify how they're finding remote working. But how are they getting on and are they being able to meet their targets and deadlines and things like that? So, you know, they need to have some face to face contact with their employee. Consider arrangements that get remote workers in the office monthly, if not weekly, like I've said. Um, remote workers need to be managed differently than those in the office, overcoming the outside of uh, issues. So they need to be looking at how they manage face-to-face -face workers and how they would manage remote workers, because, you know, it would be differently because they are at home and they need to meet up with them and they need to change their management style to get the workers involved. Um, not just like, you know, let them go home and do their work and not monitor anything because, you know, everything needs to be monitored uh, for the employer to find out what targets they are meeting. And if so, you know, uh, are they good targets that are meeting and, you know, uh, you know, consider any sort of, you know, uh, different policies in place for um, workers that are working remotely. Uh, that's the next one. Consider a separate policy, a set of policies for remote workers. So identify the differences why remote workers need to have different, you know, um, job descriptions in place because, you know, they're working from home. This slide's not... I just let me. So people that um you know common types of different jobs, um that are remote jobs that people can work from home, things like you know web designing people you know who do web designing or any sort of social media. Uh, can work from home. They don't need to be in the office setting because they're doing everything web web designing on law, online. What about customer service representatives, Eunice? Can they work um, in remote jobs? Customer service? No. Well, we do. We, we order stuff off Amazon. Do we get customer service representatives then? 
uh, online. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, customer service representatives can work in remotely. Virtual assistants, graphic designers, copy, copy editors, accountants can work, you know, uh, online. They don't have to see their, uh, you know, um, to see their clients face to face. Maybe one time they, they can, but then, you know, after that, you know, uh, they can um, just do their work online. Uh, so remote work requires policies governing equipment use, network security and performance expectation. Why is it important to have the right network and the right uh, um, inter sorry, information technology sources in place for an employee at home? To make the work easier and more faster. Yeah, to make the work more easier, more faster, and because they may be using just, you know, internet sites that, uh, you know, that uh, are part of their job, you know, they might just, that's what they must be relying on. So, you know, they need to know, um, you know, the, the, there are lots of risks of uh, working at home as well, you know, um, the fact that, you know, there may be security risks also uh, cyber attacks and things like that, you know, personal devices used for work. You know, so it, there's weak passwords as well. Some people, you know, have the fact that, you know, if you work remotely, um, are you secure? You know, it, because it could be an issue of GDPR, confidentiality. You know, the, the, the work that you're working at home, you're not gonna have security uh, software in place at home, are you? So, yeah. and some people find that um, it's, it's better employers, you know, some employers want to work at home. Why do you think they want to work at home, Eunice? Mm, to save, um, you know, to prevent, um, um, is it? It saves time, you know, moving from one your home to work, you know, yeah. time, yeah. yeah, yeah. What else is it because of children as well? You know, like we said, yeah, the fact that they're yeah. not paying childcare. Yes, and you know, they, you know, remote working can be hard as well. You know, because sometimes when you're working at home, there's all sorts of interruptions. Um. Mm -hmm. Even though, you know, employers feel that working at home boosts uh, productivity, okay? Do you tend to do more work when you're working at home? Yes. Yeah, you do. I, I, I found that when I was working, when I was teaching at home uh, during COVID, I found that I was most of the time I was on the laptop um, till maybe 11, 12 o'clock at night. So I was never switching off. Uh, so, you know, you need to uh, try to, if you work at home, you need to try to identify and make your yourself, uh, you know, have a work-life balance, you know, because you need to make it healthy, not something that can be, you know, done and then, you know, you stay at home. It needs to be a healthy environment that you're working in. Let me just see if I can find that video just one minute. Uh -huh. There was a video I was going to look for on remote learning, but it's okay. So to, uh, just one minute, to kind of finish off and, you know, identify that we are um, looking at doing learning outcome three, which was looking at remote working. Um, we finished the session today on learning outcome um, 
three, which is to understand the issues of uh, associated with re remote working. We also looked at the different types of benefits uh, for employees and employers, and also the advantages and disadvantages of remote working. We looked at the different types of remote working, like customer service, uh, accountants, and also looked at the, the tips for remote workers, how they could balance their work life uh, um, living, and also the different types of training, and what sorts of facilities will be available for people that do remote working at home. Have you got we finished this session now on Moodle. There will be additional resources for you to go on. Have you got any questions, Eunice? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, so what we'll do next week is next week we'll have learning outcome four and five on Friday. And then the final session will be on Saturday where we will be looking at your assignment area. Okay, all right. Okay, so I will see you next week. All right. Okay. Um, and have a nice week, okay, Eunice? Oh, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Have a nice Thanks day. a lot. Bye. Yeah, bye.